Okay, folks, I'm gonna make three videos today. Uh, it's been a year since we planted these seedlings. They are Arborgen Mass Control Pollinated Elite. Elite is what they're called. Now these uh, seedlings were actually uh, second generation Elite. Uh, they call them MCP or Mass Control Pollinated. Uh, I'm not necessarily touting Arborgen specifically. There's a lot of other companies out there that are really good. Uh, Meeks Nursery, uh, International Forest Company, um, a lot of the timber companies sell seedlings. So, so I'm not just pushing Arborgen. I wanna make sure that, that everybody's clear on that. Uh, they do have some good seedlings, but all of them do. Uh, these, uh, this second generation um, MCP Elite were not available to the public last year. The reason that, that we were able to get them is because um, Arborgen had grown some for a timber company and that timber company uh, had not uh, site prep. They didn't get their uh, site prep done on that tract. So we were able to get our hands on the seedlings that they weren't able to use. I was very pleased to be able to do so. Now, these were containerized seedlings. If you've seen any of my videos from last year, you'll see there were container seedlings. Um, and uh, I'm a big proponent of containerized, uh, even with loblolly or slash pine, because uh, you, you've just got that insurance against drought. But you also get a little spike of extra growth that first year. They actually do some height growth, whereas a lot of times with bare root, they don't do much height growth. So what I wanted to show you is um, three different, um, three different uh, soil types. Um, and this is the first soil type. This is the poorest. These are the poorest uh, seedlings uh, as far as growth goes because it's the poorest uh, soil type. This is almost a longleaf soil type. It's a little better because it's in a draw. So it had some a little better timber in it when we cut the timber. Um, and uh, the soil type's a little better. So um, we, you know, we did put loblolly on this little probably three acre spot here. Uh, just because the soil type's a little better than than was necessary for for longleaf. So um, anyway, this is the poorest. I'm going to show you some stuff that's in a bottom that's a, a much better uh, site index, uh, and then I'm going to show you some stuff around some piles that we had burned that was uh, just saturated with nutrients, and those trees grew unbelievably. Uh, last year, uh, or I guess you could say this past year. So what I want to do here, so I'm going to measure this seedling, and again, this is the poorest that we've got. I'm going to measure the height of the seedling. If I can get the tape down there. And hold on a second. So getting the tape down there, the height to the tip of the. Um, bud there is about a foot right at a foot uh, now that's really not what you need to pay attention to though uh, what you need to pay attention to is this is the original height of the seedling that's where the bud was right there so over the summer it grew that much okay let's look at a few others mm. here's another one um Started out right there, and it grew pretty good size there. Grew a pretty good, uh, let me get the tape out again. Pretty good um, additional growth above and beyond what was there. So this one, you can see, is one foot eight inches. So uh, about 16 inches. That one's probably about the same. Um, so again, this is, this is pretty, this is the poorest, sorry about that, the poorest of the, the site. Uh, here's one in a little better micro site. And that one is two feet tall, two feet. Can you believe that? And this is in a poor site. Um, that's one year's growth. I mean, that these were planted last February, and it is currently uh, early December. 
So uh, needless to say, we are incredibly impressed with the mass control pollinated stuff. Um, there's one that's not real happy, but it's, it's still not a bad ceiling. There's one that's much better. Um, I've seen mass control pollinated stuff um, several years ago. Um, Arborgen held a uh, landowner tour that I went on and I was pretty impressed. That's why we planted these here. They were talking about fewer forks, fewer fusiform cankers, um, disease, uh, straight trees, and we had to walk about 100 yards down a dirt road uh, and then into the stand. And I was consciously looking for forked trees and fusiform trees. And I, I didn't see any fusiform trees, and I think I saw two forked trees. Every one of them was straight as a pencil. Um, very few, you know, lower limbs. They were about 10 years old. I was just, I was, it was a good site now. It's a bottomland site. So you got to factor that in, but I was just very impressed. So anyway, um, I will make a, two more videos. One of the bottomland site uh, with average height down there. And one, um, the, uh, the site where we had all of our, um, slash or our slash piles at. Let's measure this one. This tape is not, I should have brought just a regular tape, but I got a logger's tape. One foot, eight inches. So 16 inches in height. Here's one here. That is... One foot four inches. Well, I can't get the tape to go all the way in there. That one's about one foot four inches as well. So I'm pretty impressed. There's one right over there that's Incredible. Let me get over there. Okay, so just to show you what kind of pent potential these have. Um, this is in a good micro site. See this right here? This is where uh, they, uh, a top was dropped when they cut the timber. See all the needles there? That's very high nutrient. Uh, material that is uh, it's like a pile of fertilizer so this tree is an anomaly for this particular site let me just measure it hold on a second just to show you what the potential of these trees is and i really i'm sorry for the camera shaking so much my iphone okay unbelievable unbelievable three foot nine inches now again this is one this is one year's growth one well less than a year actually we planted them last uh but one growing season now again you've got all this fertilizer here but good grief over three feet tall um needless to say i'm i'm quite impressed with uh with these these seedlings even in the the poorer sites, uh, but certainly if you've got a high quality site and you want to capture that and really grow some uh, incredible, um, incredibly fast uh, saw timber, um, these are these are good, good for that. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for more management videos. I'll be posting a couple of other ones of the better sites.